Hello and welcome back to News Minutes, the 31st of July and right now it's time for a quick StarCraft 2 news update. StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty patch 1.5.0 is now finally live, for most of the world at least. For the rest of the world it will be going live over the next day or so. This patch features a significant amount of changes that, if I were to cover fully, would keep me here all day, so let's look at a few highlights. The Battle.net user interface has been completely refreshed with a new look and feel, and with this new look and feel comes the StarCraft 2 Arcade. This will act as a portal to a brand new custom games experience that features dramatic improvements in finding, rating and playing custom games. If this kind of thing tickles your fancy then you can learn more about the arcade and everything that came with it by checking Blizzard's preview post out. Then, moving along, a new quick nav tab has been added to the bottom left corner of the Battle.net UI. This is a customizable dashboard that allows players to bind up to 5 Battle.net screens to the F1 to F5 keyboard shortcuts for speedier navigation. Sounds good to me. A new streaming launcher has been added to allow game data to stream during play. This should reduce download, install and patching times. There were a few graphical improvements to the game and these include better physics, texture and resource management, improved fog of war and much more. The editor improvements? Man, I don't even want to get started on those because there are just way too many and I guess if you're into that kind of thing you've probably already read them. Lastly, tons of bug fixes. Because some people seem to be having trouble updating their games, there's actually another post up on the official site covering all you need to know about patching to 1.5.0. The reason it all gets a bit complicated is because of the optimizations to the client that need to happen. We all know how tiresome and tedious those can be. I'm not sure how big the patch actually is, but I'm gonna go ahead and assume that there's quite a lot of downloading that will happen. If any of you have already downloaded the patch, be sure to let us know how big it is, and what your favorite new features are. I kind of like the sound of the arcade and the quick nav, but I'll have to see them in action before passing judgement. You can, as always, find the full patch notes linked below, along with a few other related posts and goodies. Now if all of that wasn't enough, here are a couple of smalls. The Asus Republic of Gamers Summer 2012 tournament is kicking off on Thursday. Don't miss out on that, the streams will be absolutely amazing, as always. The TSL4 has already started up. That's also quite a lot of StarCraft 2 action that you can follow. Below you can check out the full results for both the GSL Code S and GSTL. Not gonna spoil the results here in case anyone still wanted to catch the VODs and didn't want to be spoiled. You can however read all about them below. Below you can also read about NASL's new King of the Hill series called The Gauntlet and lastly, right here on YouTube you can watch Hotkeys with Artosis. A very informative video telling you everything you should know about Hotkeys in StarCraft 2. That's it for this episode, remember to check the description below this video for everything that I spoke about and more, like the video and do all that other good stuff and most importantly, happy patch 1.5 and happy starcrafting.